watching today's video. So I have seen your comments, I've seen your messages. You guys have been asking for more home decor videos. So I'm so excited to bring you more home decor. Um, we've just been really trying to finish up our house and that means a couple home goods trips. So I'm super excited now that home goods in my area is open. I did finally get to go and I picked up a few good things. So in today's haul, I have some home goods things. I have Joanne fabrics, I think, yeah, things. Um, some Amazon things, just a lot of home decor, just a collective home decor haul. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a quick little haul of some things that I picked up and then I'm actually going to do a walkthrough of our house a little bit and kind of show you how I use this decor um, and how I have it all set up. So I hope you guys like this video and let's get it started. Also quickly, I will of course try to link everything that I can down below since some of this stuff is home goods. It could be a little difficult, but everything from Amazon and everywhere else I will try to find or I'll try to find something similar on Amazon for you guys. So let's get it started. Joy is here with us. so. I really wanted to get some little kind of like trinkets, like little pieces that can go on a stack of books or little things that could just add something when you need something, you know? So I got a lot of these kind of little trays. This one is some type of rock or stone. Oh, it says petrified wood. I don't know, but it's so heavy like a rock and it feels like a rock, but it looks like wood. So yeah, I don't know what petrified wood means, but that's what it says <laughs> so anyways I thought it was really beautiful so I forget where I had oh I had it like right behind me right there on that thing for now so I think my favorite thing about home decor is that you can really move it around so this right now I have it right there on that dresser but I could definitely move this around and that's why I love little trays so the next little tray that I got is also from home goods and it is this little marble tray this was $19 and this was 19 as well so both these trays were 19 but it's a really beautiful marble tray I have seen so many marble trays on the CB2 website which are so beautiful and they have so many sizes and they are so expensive so literally I'm pretty sure this is like real stone something um, at home goods it's only 19 so I think it's a really good either way it's a dupe or if it is real it's a really good way to get that look and not spend a ton of money so I love crystals I don't know if you can see my nightstand but I have crystals on my nightstand a crystal on Brett's nightstand crystals here crystals in our office in our living room we love crystals um, so my favorite place to get crystals is home goods so I got this big one this is so heavy at home goods I'm not sure if this is a crystal or if this is salt but I got this um, at Home Goods and it was very affordable, like $20 or something. So I think it might be salt. But either way, I just loved how huge it is. It's just this huge, like, rock. <laughs> so I have this. I'm using it right now as a book stand, but I will show you guys that. But I loved the color. It was so beautiful. A lot of times they have, like, littler sizes of these that kind of look like bookends um, but I saw this big one and I was like oh my god that is mine I have to have that so I got this big one and then I also saw this one I don't know what this is called either oh selenite hand selected selenite delivers clarity of mind cleanses negative energy so I just thought this was beautiful and this was $29 this long one and I have this on our coffee table right now but how beautiful is that they have a ton of these so and I literally I'm filming this like just a few days after I went to home goods so if you like any of this stuff I just got it all um, but they had so many of these and I thought it was just so stunningly beautiful just that big piece of selenite so yeah I thought this was really pretty for a coffee table but literally you could use these everywhere okay so I did get a few candles they had a really cute ones this time sometimes it's hit or miss if you need candles obviously home goods always has them but this time they had pretty candles so I found this one is called California peony um, it doesn't say secret celebrity is the brand but I just thought that was really beautiful I have this currently in my office and it smells delicious but I really just love the packaging and the white and the black I thought it was really pretty so then they had a ton of these Olivia Blake's and the friend that I went with has this candle in a huge version and it's so beautiful in her office and I saw these and I was like oh my god those would be so cute for our nightstands so I got me and Brett two of these so we can have them matching on our nightstands so our nightstands look alike and this was only five dollars for this little one but this is so good it almost smells a little bit masculine um, so we really like it for our bedroom. It's blackberry and chestnut. So we got two of those 
And then I thought this one was really beautiful. I know they always have a ton of these sand and fog, um, bigger three wick candles. Oh my God, it smells so good. I feel like this is labeled wrong. It says Tahitian vanilla. Unless that smells like pumpkin, it smells like pumpkin. So I, I feel like it might be labeled wrong because it smells so good like fall. And this big candle is only $14. And these are huge, they literally last forever. We have candles going like almost every night in our house. So we always love to stock up and Home Goods is my favorite place to get them. Okay, so this next thing that I want are these links. So there's a little bit of a story behind me. I have wanted these links for a really long time and I will link the ones I initially saw down below. I think they were made of wood and they were like $150 for something like this. So I was like, I just don't think that's worth it because it is just a little decor piece. For me, I know I like to change decor often, so I didn't buy the $150 one a few months ago. And then I saw these at Home Goods, and these aren't wood, these are metal, but I was like, I could paint those the color that I want because I don't really want them to be silver. And these were only $14.99. So I felt a little bit more comfortable buying them at that price. So they're really like maneuverable, and then they also had it in gold. So I got the gold and the silver, but I do plan on painting these. So I will show you guys how I do that in another haul. But I thought they were so pretty. So I have seen a lot of the original links that I saw like kind of laying across a bowl. So I found this bowl. Again, I'm going to paint this. So I think I might paint this white or like a tannish creamy ivory color, but it's a really pretty metal bowl and I loved the texture. So it's kind of hammered and I love the pedestal bowl. We have a black bowl like this in our kitchen that I love and I've wanted a white one but I couldn't ever find one. So I just found this one and it was $19. So I'm gonna paint this and paint those links in a different video and show you guys how I do it. So also I thought it'd be really cute to have a bowl like that full of some fall branches and stuff. So I went to Joanne Fabrics and just got a few of these when I was getting the paint for those. And I just got these little branches, cute little things, and then these little fluffy guys. But I love the color of these, how they're more brown and tan and not so green. So I thought it'd be cute to kind of mix these up and put them in a bowl as well. I don't know, I just wanted options. And I thought those were so beautiful. So I'm going to take you guys into my living room and show you guys a few more things that we've picked up from Amazon and stuff and then show you guys how I use all this as decoration. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little overview of the decor I have in here. So here is where I ended up putting that little salt or crystal <laughs> big chunk of the stone. I'm kind of using it as a little bookend. I just have some black books in there and then this little vase with some little cotton in it. And then I have that tray there for now. I don't know if I want it there, but I just wanted something there. So I thought that was a good spot for it, but I think Brett might end up using it in his office once we get his office decorated. And then we did just get new nightstands. So you can see I have the little Olivia Blake candle in there and then just some other decor on top. But I did just film an updated bedroom decor video. So if you guys wanna See, that video is my most recent like skincare nighttime routine video. Joy's in it. And I take you guys through all of our bedroom decor and that has all of my bedroom decor links as well. Okay, so moving into the living room, I wanted to show you guys a few new things that we have in here. We just upgraded our whole TV stand and our TV. So we just got a new TV from Best Buy and then I just found this TV stand. It's just beautiful. I found it at Home Goods, and the sad thing is there are no tags and there's no like marks anywhere of like where it's from. So I have no idea where it's from or what brand it is. Like it literally doesn't say it anywhere. If I can ever find it or something similar, I will link it down below. But it was at Home Goods just recently, so maybe they still have more. But I just loved the color. I thought it was beautiful. And it's so wide and long and like a perfect height. It's a little low to the ground, but not super low. Moving on to this corner, we did rearrange our couch. We had our couch like right here in here, but we ended up moving it to be this way. So in this corner, we have our chair. And then you guys have seen this. We got this new table from Pottery Barn. Book decor is from Amazon and this is from Target. I DIY'd these, but we just got this new vase. This vase is from Pottery Barn. It was a little bit of an investment for a vase. It was like $80 or something. I'm pretty sure I could have DIY'd it. So I'm gonna try to DIY something like it and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. And then these are just from Amazon. 
And then we actually had that lamp from our old apartment. So we just repurposed it right there and I really like how it looks. And then you can see this is the little candle that I just bought. We got this at Home Goods recently. I loved the design of it. And then we have more of these selenite little crystals in here. So I love this corner now. And just our whole living room I think is really coming together and feeling more like us. I just really love it. So um, here's the little selenite crystal or the big selenite crystal. I thought it was so pretty on there and just classic, simple. And then we also did get this little basket. This basket is from At Home and I wanted a wicker basket to put our blankets in, but they all, you know, are the color of wicker, like tan wicker, which is beautiful. But I felt like it really didn't go in our space. So we found this big black wicker box or a bin and I really liked it. So I think it really goes with our pillows more and just our whole vibe. So we just picked that up as well. Okay, and now moving into my office, I just filmed a whole office decor video that you guys will see soon, I think sometime next week. Um, but quickly, I just wanted to do an overview because some things aren't in that video because I just got them. But this is what I was just showing you. So this is that marble tray and then the pretty candle. And then I just have this from Amazon with all my pens and pencils. All right, you guys, so that is it for my most recent home decor haul. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to link everything that I can for you guys in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.